is transferring a resident from the bed to a wheelchair. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with knocking. Hi, Mr. Jones. My name is Reva. I'll be your nurse aide today, and I'm going to get you up out of bed and into the wheelchair. I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to provide for privacy. All right, so I'm going to get his call light with just out of the way, look at here, and then we are going to set the head up to Valor's position. We do not have to put the side rails up because we're not raising the height of the bed. We're only putting him in. It. We're only raising the head of the bed. All right. So I'm going to get my wheelchair, and I'm going to put it. You can either put it parallel to the bed or at a 45 degree angle. I like to put it at an angle. I just think it's a little easier. I'm going to lock my wheels. I'm going to get the foot, the foot pedals or foot plates out of the way. So I'm just going to raise them up or you can remove them completely or you can swing them around to the sides. So I like to just swing them around to the sides. Then I'm going to uh, place a bath blanket on the chair. You can either put a bath blanket on the chair or a protector of some sorts to where if they were to urinate or anything, it would protect the chair. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna fan fold my linen to the foot of the bed. And I'm gonna put socks on him or shoes, non-skid footwear. Put his gate belt on him. <clears throat> so I'm just going to ask him, can you sit up a little bit for me? And I'm going to slide this behind his back. And we're going to buckle it. And we're just leaving enough room that we can still put our, our four fingers underneath it. Um, so this is a critical step. We're gonna right, we're gonna move him in one unit as one unit to a dangling position. So it's just his feet are dangling off the bed. All right. So I'm gonna cradle him so under his knees and behind his back, and we're just gonna swoop him over. All right. We're gonna put you in a dangling position. All right. And then you want to make sure that you're standing in front of the resident. You want to grasp the belt at the sides and you want your knees to be um, near his into the side and then we're going to tell our resident on the count of three we're going to stand up so we're going to use our hips and our knees we're not going to use our back and we're going to stand the resident up so on the count of three we're going to stand up and then i'm going to pivot him into the wheelchair he's going to reach back and, and help lower him into into the chair obviously a dummy can't help us much so all right, on the count of three, we're gonna stand up, pivot, and get into your chair. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna pivot. Okay, we're gonna sit down. I'm using my knees and hips. We're gonna sit down on three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna put his feet on the foot plates or foot pedals. remove his um, his gate belt sit up for me we're gonna cover him with a blanket just put it on his lap we're gonna unlock his wheels We're going to wheel him back here in his room so he can watch some TV or whatever he's doing. Leave the wheels unlocked. And I'm going to put his call light within reach. Here's your call light. 
If you need anything, let us know, give us a call. Then I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm going to report and record observations.